Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching the Big Bang Theory. This is the sixth episode of the third season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put a password in, and enjoy. So, this could potentially be the season of relationships. Yes, I'm excited to see what we do because obviously we started this season with what it looks like to actually be confirmed a full established relationship between Penny and Howard. Now, um, sorry, not Penny and Howard, Penny and Leonard. Howard was set up from Penny last episode after having a pact with Leonard uh, back in 2004 that basically whoever did get a hot girlfriend first, you know, would then set up the second person with one of their friends. And obviously because Leonard has managed to get into a relationship with Penny at the start of this season after obviously trying through one and two, you know, uh, he's had to go and ask her this. Now he's asking her after they just had sex and she was thinking that he was going to say, you know, he made a pact with Howard <laughs> and maybe it's them three joining together. But no, what he was saying is obviously she's got somebody that they can hook each other up with. And he went on a double date. Now, to me, it didn't look like it was going that well. You know, Howard was asking her loads of questions. She wasn't really vibing. He was saying, does she like magic? She was like, no, not really. He was asking her a couple of things. She didn't really get it. But then he found a mutual connection between parents saying how much they're obsessive with each other. Do you know what I mean? They don't give him uh, a second to breathe, always calling, checking up on them, mothering, smothering them. And and uh, then it started to seem to go really well. So if we've got Howard and uh, this new girl uh, going forward and we've got Leonard and obviously Penny, it's going to be a good, interesting season because I've always been saying that introducing new characters is always the best because obviously it just elevates the show and gives us more connections and groups and um, they started off really well. So I'm excited to see what we do. Thanks for checking out today's episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please smash like. really helps out. Subscribe if you do. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, you're misusing the word ho. It's an interjection used to call attention to a destination, not an object, as in a land ho or a westward ho. Guys, what you doing? Going out to discover electricity? Heading out for some kite fighting. Kite fighting? Oh, yeah. It's an extremely competitive cutthroat sport. Throat cutting is very low. <laughs> On the other hand, severe string burn is a real and ever-present danger. <laughs> and, um, I've got some friends coming over. Not a big thing. We're just going to watch the Nebraska game. Oh, football. Sure. Mm -hmm. You've got plans doing something you like. I've got plans doing something I like. So. Why is he actually so weird about it? Sucks. <laughs> Where exactly in the interaction did the sucking lie? <laughs> Leonard just realized that Penny's been hiding him from her friends because he's a tiny little man who flies kites. Mm. <laughs> to be fair, I never even took that from that conversation there. I thought Leonard was, like, upset that she was doing something herself without involving him. Now, I was going to say, in a relationship, that's what you kind of need, don't you? You need your own personal space. You need to do whatever you do with your mates and let her do whatever she does with hers. And obviously then you spend collective time together, you know... Uh, enjoying yourselves you can't spend every second with that person it'll start to grain on you but also yeah i get where they're coming from i never even thought about it but if he's thinking that she's not inviting him because she's embarrassed of who he is or you know of what he does or whatnot and don't want to introduce him to her friends then i could kind of get why that would suck and why he wouldn't like that but i never actually read that from that conversation Wallowitz is trying to outflank us. And let out some string at altitude and I'll go under and cut his line. Maybe Kuthra Polly's right. Maybe I embarrass her. You're embarrassing me right now. A grown man worrying about such nonsense. We're in the middle of flying kites. Why would you not wear gloves? Oh, they think we're flanking. They're playing right into our hands. At the count of three, we execute the flying scissor. One, two, Whoa. three. You see that? See what? The chick, she smiled at me. No, she didn't. I come back! <laughs> Victory! You're a sucky friend, you know that? <laughs> a sucky, sucky friend. Not up to her if I hadn't pulled a hammy. Oh, please, you weigh 80 pounds. You don't have a hammy. Perhaps she's excluded you from these gatherings because she's scouting for a new mate and doesn't want to do it in front of you. A female bonobo will copulate with a new male in front of the old one without so much as a how do you do. Billy had a shot with a woman you were chasing through a park. That's not a shot. That's a felony. I'm sorry, Raj, but the rules of aerial warfare dictate that the fallen kite go to the victor. Have your kite. <laughs> <laughs> 
a weird figure of speech, isn't it? We won when you weren't actually playing. <laughs> oh, hey, on a related subject, are you embarrassed to have me around your friends? <laughs> oh my God, no. Why would you ask that? Well, you know, I just noticed I haven't really met any of them. I'm sure you have. You know, I didn't want you to be bored. I wouldn't be bored. Why would I be bored? Well, because they're not genius scientists. Right. Well, then why don't you come over next Saturday and watch the game with us? Another football game? <laughs> they have them every week. Okay, a completed pass. First down, New England. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get this. The thing I've learned in the last two hours is that American men love drinking beer, be too often, and have trouble getting erections. Raj! What are you doing here? You're supposed to help me pimp out my Vespa. <laughs> Sorry, are you under the impression that we're still friends? I had a shot with that jogger. Fine. Paint green flames on your little scooter with her. It's the second biggest Vespa they make! Now, what is this sack statistic they put up there? All I know about sacks is my mother shops there. Scrimmage. <laughs> the line of scrimmage is the imaginary transverse line separating the offense from the defense. Texas. Football is ubiquitous in Texas. It's pro football, college football, high school football, peewee football. In fact, every form of football except the original, European football. Could teach me? Football or chicken fried meats? <laughs> football. I'm going to Penny's on Saturday to watch a game with her friends, and I don't want to look like an idiot. I want to blend in. Are you making this a tier one friendship request? <laughs> yes. Fine. What I don't understand is, like, I mean, those books are dummies. Some of them are actually pretty decent, to be honest. But, like, American football, I, do you, you just need to know the absolute basics. Like, I'm I'm not even from America. Like, I don't even watch it. And I know the fact that, like, you have the, the quarterback, and I know what a sack is. You know, as the play begins, as the ball gets thrown back to him, as he's looking to do his play to throw the ball, if one of their defenders runs past... Uh, runs past and your team and knocks the quarterback down to sack like i know that i also know that the fact that if you throw a touchdown you get six points and if you complete the kick you get seven and i also know that if you can't get a touchdown then you can't complete the kick and obviously you manage to uh do um just a kick you set basically a field goal you get three points like i don't understand like surely that is the most basic knowledge that you would Everybody knows, especially in that country. Like, I wouldn't expect somebody like my mum to know that because she knows nothing. I won't even see any sort of conversation of American football whatsoever. But, like, when you're in a country that sport knocks on and gets about, like, you would know the complete basics. I, like, I can't believe he actually doesn't know that. But, again, it's interesting. Talking about American football, I think it's crazy how big it actually is in schools. You know, like, college football thousands and thousands of people turn up big old stadiums mate honestly like some of the stadiums are huge considering it's college ball it's actually crazy and i can understand as well right people who go to college and play in stadiums like that and like get all the popularity and they like mr mr top guy do you know what i mean and all the attention and all the cheerleaders you know and all everything going on and then they don't make it to the big time and like how they can kind of get depressed and 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 spiral down and feel bad about themselves. Like I I can see that being a thing because you've gone from being the best thing sliced bread that anyone could ever see to not being relevant anymore just because you've left college. You know what I mean? And it could just literally change in the click of a finger like that. It's mad. <laughs> Yo, that is pretty cool. That honestly, that is cool. Are you gonna stop making Cylon toast? <laughs> when I have enough to destroy all the human toast on the battle star known as Galactica. It's the smallest size they had. Except yeah. for dogs. <laughs> I can't believe they had one for dogs. Am I correct in assuming that your attempt to be accepted by Penny's peers is based on your desire to ensure your continuing mating privileges with her? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it exactly that way. How would you put it? Yeah, okay, like you said. Do you have access to women who will do it for money? <laughs> Another accepted usage for the term ho. <laughs> that social convention dictate you not arrive empty-handed. Would you like to bring some Cylon toast? Hey, pal. <laughs> what do you want? The kite you made me lose was an authentic patang. An Indian fighting kite that my brother sent to me from New Delhi. It took me a day to put together and two days to paint. 
This is Hello Kitty. Buying me something pretty isn't gonna make our problem. Just go away. <laughs> Always been the best friend I could be. You've been a sucky friend, a sucky, sucky friend. <laughs> Last week in the mall at Radio Shack, we were looking for a phone with giant numbers for your mother. <laughs> and I suddenly realized you're not even there. Being shot down by the girl at Hot Dog on a Stick. And working that squeezer to make the lemonade going up and down and up. Just <laughs> <laughs> like a free pole dance right in the middle of the food court. <laughs> How about we go spend the day together? Just the two of us. We'll go anywhere you want. Let me take you someplace nice. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the La Brea top pits. Star pits, let's go. <laughs> oh, why can't I stay mad at you? <laughs> yeah. oh, go, 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 yes! Are you people watching this? Is this amazing or what? That's your routine. Maybe that's a highlight from the 98 championship game. That completely was a forward pass, which they threw intentionally incomplete to avoid loss of yardage or to conserve time. Have some pizza, sweetie. Uh, you know I'm lactose intolerant. I know. I just need you to stop talking. <coughs> Sheldon, come in. Thank you. I'd like to make a sandwich, but I'm out of bread. <laughs> Goes the mimesis, action in which the mimic takes on the properties <laughs> of a specific object or <laughs> organism. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to fit in then. With you, without my meaning becoming apparent to those around you. No, FYI, after I eat my sandwich, I'm taking Kuthu Polly's Patang kite out for a test run. Would you like to get your Delta Wing Raptor and join me? I don't want to fly kites, Sheldon. Dog. We're watching football here. Oklahoma coach has thrown down a red flag indicating he's challenging the ruling on the field. Hope he's right, because if he's not, it'll cost him one of his three timeouts. I wouldn't mind if you wanted to go fly kites with Sheldon. No, I'll watch the end of the game. Besides, there's only three minutes left. Until halftime. Kidding me. No. Nice meeting all of you. <laughs> he is really smart. The thing is, there's nothing worse than somebody who tries to fit in. Do you know what I mean? Who, like, basically... <laughs> Like, when you're not being your natural self, it's so evident, and then it makes the whole surrounding area so awkward, do you know what I mean? And I actually think that Sheldon coming in and giving him the out that he desperately did desire was actually being good. I really like my saber-toothed cat, thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. <sighs> this is turning out to be a perfect Saturday. Oh, man, did you see the way she smiled at me? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, go ahead. <laughs> no? This is our day. If you want to chase after her, <clears throat> chase after her. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because she wasn't really smiling at me. Actually, in this case, I think she was. Really? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> they are two peas in the pod, them, though, aren't they? They actually are always together. Like, at least Leonard, usually, with Sheldon, even though, like, Leonard's there, he ate Sheldon, do you know what I mean? Basically, if the, I said it before, but if Leonard wasn't there, Sheldon's character wouldn't be as good. Uh, it's just Sheldon is Sheldon, but he bounces off Leonard so well that it elevates him again even more, and it gives Leonard also an additional purpose. Obviously, he's with Penny, but he's also with Sheldon, and the majority of the time, I would literally say 90% of the screen time of Howard and Raj are in a collective a team, tag team unit. Um, and do you remember when I think it was uh, Leonard's mum who come and sat down and she was basically saying as well about them two kind of like being in a, a relationship together, you know what I mean? And um, they didn't really deny, obviously they're not, but they didn't really like deny anything. They just sat there and listened to her doing her observation because obviously that's what she was doing. She was literally doing everybody's. But I just feel like they, they're really good as a team. They, they bounce off each other it never feels awkward between them they always have a bicker as well do you know what i mean and good friends do bicker between each other it's like have a little argument fall out make up to each other again fall out do you know what i mean and like following on from today's episode here with him chasing the women down in the park i'm to, i'm guessing that there's not going to be no extension of what went on last episode when he went on the date with howard and uh, with leonard and penny you know just going to be one episode in and out which i guess is fine but uh, I would like to, do you know what I mean? I'd just like to see them progress a little bit further more than like one or two episodes, you know what I mean? Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks for checking out the channel today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So that's six in the bag for season three. And, uh, you know, I understand Howard wanting to, I keep calling Leonard Howard. I don't know why I'm doing that, but like Leonard wanted to fit in with Penny's friends. Now, you know, 
I was actually right, I believe, at the start of the episode. You know, basically when he met at the stairs and he was talking and he was engaging and basically she was saying that she's having a football party and she didn't really invite him um, because she just didn't think it would be his thing. You know what I mean? Like, he knows nothing about football, all her friends do. Do you know what I mean? She didn't think that he'd have a, a good time at that place and it's not that she didn't want him to be socialising around her uh, pre-existing friends. It's just that, you know, the environment that they'd be spending a hell of a lot of time in uh, wouldn't kind of be his thing. Do you know what I mean? And... Uh, obviously his friends, his normal ones, got into his head and was basically saying like maybe it's because she doesn't want you to interact with them because she's kind of embarrassed by him. But I didn't get that at all. You know, he come in after the first football game and he was basically saying X, Y, and Z. And she was saying, no, that's not the case. You know what I mean? Like, in fact, it's a football game every week. Yeah, people are going to be coming around, going to be enjoying it. If you want to take part, come sit down, engage, you know, have your say. And um, again, he come round, he tried to clue up himself on the football. Now, interestingly, like I said to me, I know pretty much the basics about the American football. And I don't even watch it. It's just that I've acquired that knowledge over my lifetime of hearing people talk and do and, and you know, the points and first downs and full quarters, you know what I mean? Never seen the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Um, you know that, obviously, you get the first down, you get four. Is it? Do you get four attempts, you know, first, second, third and fourth? And if you don't do it, you have to punt it back, you know. I think it's pretty basic, simple stuff. There's obviously further stuff down the line that you can't do this or you can't grab or hold in, do you know what I mean? And a little bit more, you know, you can't move before the ball snapped to the quarterback and stuff like that, otherwise you get penalised and move forward first down. Obviously a lot more, but Leonard's obviously tried to clue up himself on it, which is fine because he wants to be uh, knowledgeable around to new friends and he wants to fit in. But then again, like I was saying, there's nothing worse than somebody who doesn't fit in in a certain place and tries to visibly force himself into the situation. And it just makes everybody else in the surrounding areas really awkward. Do you know what I mean? Like he, especially when somebody starts stating obvious, like, look at this, you know, he's threw a flag down. Let's hope that he knows it because if he doesn't get it right, they lose a the flag and they have to get pushed back 10 yards. Like, it's like, mate, we all know that. Like, you don't have to state the obvious. You should just say, look, mate, I hope that he's challenged that correct. Otherwise, mate, we're going to lose yards and we can't, we don't need that right now. Do you know what I mean? We're losing. We need to progress forward. Uh, something simple. You know what I mean? He made it awkward. Sheldon actually come in. Decent. Give him an out as well. Tried to not disrespect anybody by actually calling them out. He was trying to talk in cold towards him. Penny was like as well, look, mate, if you want to go, just go. Do you know what I mean? It's mad as well, actually. An American football game, even though... How long are the actual quarters? Is it 15 minutes? Is it three, uh, four 15-minute quarters? So technically it's a 60-minute game, but it spans over like three, four hours because every time the ball stops, not every time, the clock can still tick, but mainly anyway, if the ball goes out of play, the clock stops. And like one 15-minute half can take like one hour, which is crazy. It actually really is. So uh, after he figured out that he's been sat there for a few hours and it's only half time, mate, it's like a sack it, mate. I'm bouncing. <laughs> Go seeing you guys. So that's interesting. And like I said, I'm glad that it was shown that Penny wasn't embarrassed by him and she actually even though he left and she was like oh that was a bit awkward still said yep that's my boyfriend and he's smart you know what i mean so he kind of bigged him up so i like that bit thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash like really helps out subscribe if you do and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys